Okay, so we are now live. Thank you so much for coming to this sixth online talk of the Music Hack Space with Yuri Suzuki. Hello, Yuri. Hello. Thank you for invitation today. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming. Where are you, where are you calling from? Uh, I'm in Marge at that moment. Okay, so, great. Uh, so we are yeah. staying in the in the UK <laughs> today. Yeah, you can How are you? That. How are you coping with the, with the lockdown? Well, it has been quite productive, I would say, like uh, doing more work and also, yeah, and spare time, like making music as well, and also developing new idea for the, because thinking about after lockdown situation or like after corner era, what's going to be happen. So I'm thinking quite a lot of ideas at the moment. So this world is going to be changed, but uh, it's really excited to imagine generating idea. And uh, yeah, like we are announcing quite a lot of projects this year as well. So hopefully, you know, music related, obviously. So I hope you're going to be excited about it. Yeah, well, I'm definitely excited to check out the Easy Record Maker. So okay, great. Um, maybe a quick introduction about you. Um, so you're an artist, DJ, um, yeah. designer, inventor. You worked with Teenage Engineering. Mm -hmm. You worked with Will I Am, Jeff Mills, Google. Yeah. Uh, the list is very long. You also uh, recently joined the creative agency Pentagram as a partner there. So your work goes from uh, indie installations to museums to uh, full-time, you know, advertising, uh, creative yeah. advertising, I suppose. So uh, yeah. you also taught at the Royal College of Art. Yeah. And uh, the first time I, I came across your work was in 2014 when you launched the Ototo with uh, Dentec. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so, so, which was also a hardware device where you can make sound uh, yeah. or connect the board to anything to make sound. Mm -hmm. So six years on, now you have a new a new device that you're going to, to show today. Yeah. Um, so, well, I'll, I'll just hand it over to you and then uh, okay. there will be questions yeah. from, from the chat. So over to you, Yuri. Yeah. So thank you for introduction. So so this project called uh, uh, Easy Record Maker. It's basically looks like that. Um, so I have been working like this concept almost four years now, like since I was working for teenage engineering. Um, so that's actually I came from like when I was you know when I finished working for teenage engineering, but I was freelance and uh, uh, Jasper from teenage engineering kindly you know allow me to work at his studio. And he was kind of suggesting me to creating like a, your, you know, idea of product, like why not pitching us to making it. And uh, one idea is Ototo, and the second idea was this one. And another idea is actually quite similar to like me and you actually working together. <laughs> and, uh, so that's kind of, you know, this couple of years kind of realizing uh, that dream machine, uh, what I love to be in the public, you know, put in the uh, market. And the one project I uh, have, have been working is an easy record maker. So, so that time I made already concept and also um, I was looking for partnership to working together and the teenage engineering included as well. Then that time um, also another company called Gakken in Japan. So they're really, uh, they're quite famous for subscription uh, educational magazines. So they, every month you get like a, textbook about science or like literature and then something special about the Gakken is it's coming with sort of a scientific kit or like scientific kind of a toys and proofing that learning about like a, you know like a science behind and uh, it is you know obviously subscription like extremely cheap to buying it that kind of magazine then Gakken it's created a new line of series called Otona no Kagak magazine so it's kind of science for growing up so idea behind for Otona no Kagak magazine is actually creating sort of really like a do it to yourself, like a build it as a kid and really cheap. Um, like for example, they produce Tell Me. I think that costs like 30 dollars in the market price. And also analog synthesizer, again, like 30 dollars. And so they are producing like a magazine with interesting kit inside. So something like a, a lot of like grown ups hobby or you know some people like into analog synthesizer and so on. So I came up and uh, proposing this idea for like making like a record making machine. And uh, this is really toy quality because you have to build it yourself and as a kid. And the sound quality really low fi 
but I do like it. It's, you know, this is a part of the taste as well. And then, so this is a, obviously a box. At the moment, you can buy in Japan. And obviously, like most of like uh, stock is gone now because of really high demand and it's really really popular at the moment. So it's coming with like ten blank discs and also do it yourself kit in here and also coming with like uh, like paper label and also like sticker on top of the you can stick on the uh, record as well. So I can show you the content of the magazine as well. So it's coming with magazine. So this is called a magazine, like you know, sign for growing up for magazine. So supposed to be this magazine is the main things and this is coming as a kind of a, uh, you know, kind of appendix in a way. Um, so, so you can actually buy from like most of the bookshop. So that's how they distribute this magazine or this kit. And then this, um, you know, magazine is really good content actually, because I did the helping for, you know, like a directing and also editing as well. And the first feature is uh, Jeff Mills. Um, and like uh, I have interviewed to him. I suppose we not be here, but uh, they kind of put me in the picture. Um, and so like, uh, you know, it's actually like I did uh, some interview about uh, um, like kind of his passion about the record. And also I did a lot of like art project about the record and the uh, highly inspiration came from his activity by Jeff Mayons. So it was totally honor to have his interview. And uh, also like another amazing artist, Damien Her, like a crush from like OK Go. And his creativity is incredible. And uh, he's talking about his career, about how he started for, um, you know, his music career. He started at musical label and he producing record by himself. And a really, really nice interview. And also my hero, uh, Mark Mazazba uh, from Devo. And uh, he's also really obsessed for like, a, uh, you know, like a record and also like experimental music project. So uh, it was really nice to have his, his interview as well. And, uh, and also like another my hero, Cornelius uh, from Japan. I didn't do interview, but the uh, uh, magazine, uh, you know, editing team like interviewed him. Uh, so it's really a bunch of interesting interview and also um, like an obsession about how to making like a record with like a jacket sleeve artwork and also another like, you know, like where like for example, Mewa, you know, my previous boss, Mewa Denki uh, created his own invention from, uh, from like this kit. And also kind of bit my interview as well. Thank you to put the editing team. But most importantly, they put kind of like a, system and the mechanics of how record cutting works that was really really nice to read so obviously like uh, um, how process for record cutting is really really primitive so this is a, a cutting cutting needle and it has got really looks like sharp and sword looking things so Basically, the process for cutting record is vibrating this, you know, translate sound information for vibration, vibrate like this, like stylus, and the scratching on top of the uh, surface and then making record. That's like any record process I could work in this way. So this magazine telling about how things work. So um, then which content, um, like again, like, like a jacket sleeve work, like we designed that, also like some, you know, label design as well. So quite nice one is coming with it. And the most important coming with kit. So this is how it looks like. So, so this is the machine and it has got uh, uh, like playback like stylus and those cutting stylus in here. And then uh, it's coming with 10 blank discs. And uh, just like a play back some of the songs. And then uh, here it's actually uh, coming as a, a power adapter, but this is a five volt USB. So you can connect any like a USB power source to here. And also this is the input and the output. So you can have a cable and a stereo to mono. So basically this is mono record cutting machine. And then, uh, which is actually, um, you know, you can record like a stereo, but you can actually have like a mono a cable that you can connect with your computer or like iPad or anything from here. So I can play back like uh, quickly for like what kind of sound. So basically, I record a bit about the uh, OK goes here, it goes again. And uh, sound quality is really low fi but uh, kind of like uh, I like this uh, roughness of the sound. And 
also like has got thirty three RPM as well. So like you, so you can switch to thirty three RPM and forty five RPM. So then, so and also you can play like with this machine for playback record as well. So you, if you have like your own seven inch record, you can actually play back with this one too. And then the, I can demonstrate how uh, like a record cutting process works in here. So, so this is a blank disc and nothing engraved at the moment. It's coming with 10 of them and this is kind of polycarbonate plastic is coming in. And then you have to put in here and can you see it okay? Um, Oops, okay, you can see it. So you can actually uh, just like uh, holding it like that. And then, so this is, if you see here, this is a cutting head. It's got a really primitive, like vibrative, like audio actuator in here and a stylus to make it like a translator vibration into the, this stylus. And this is how things work. And then, and also here, and it has got amazing system like the sending, uh, you know, basically you have to make a spiral for like making records. So you had to slowly like put it toward the to center for the, this like uh, uh, cutting stylus. So it has got the gear, cog in here, and you like this slowly pushing toward to the center to making a uh, spiral. So I cannot show you because I'm using like a computer at the moment, but uh, I can quickly demonstrate uh, how like sound is going to be cut. So let me try. Um, so I'm using Ableton Live and the best tips for this one, um, this machine, because of like a really primitive, uh, it doesn't including like a RIA curve, uh, you know, equalizer at all. So you have to do equalization by yourself. But there's some free plugin, like one is the best one is called like uh, vacuum sound, uh, like, um, which is kind of like showing like a, um, actually like giving for free for free like VST and air plugin and one plugin called RIAA and actually you can easy to make invert like RIAA sound. So the process to making this one that I can show you again for this magazine. Um, I guess I can try uh, in here. Um, Yes, so here. So I can hear, okay. So RIA curve is uh, like this equalization, like lower equalization to high, you know, lower frequency to higher frequency. So basically, like all like record player has got like a specific equalization for like low frequency to be up, like high, uh, high frequency to down. It's, yeah, yeah, so that's how. Uh, most of the record the phono like amplifier will work. So when you're cutting record, you have to do the opposite. So like basically low frequency to down, the high frequency up, that's kind of right curve, right curve of the RIA uh, equalization. So you have you probably the best way, actually you can actually record straight with like filter, that's the best way to do. So I'm just like cutting record now um, by like, you know, um, um, like, like I can play this song, like a, like my respectable artist Devo, and playing like a... So this sound I'm gonna like uh, cut in here now. So, so you just have, what do you have to do? Turn the volume and switch into the recording mode, and I have to check like sound quality. equalization looks sounds fine for me and let me start cutting oh, I probably made a mistake now <laughs> sorry I put uh, stylus in the wrong direction. 
So basically, it's coming with like two stylus and. Um, So, um, so like uh, probably like if after you cut ten records, probably better to change. But uh, this style is exchange uh, no changeable, and uh, selling like really really cheap price, like uh, four pound or like five pound, like that kind of range. So just like use as much as possible then. So I'm just cutting again. Sorry for mistake. Yeah, this is not right for me. Yuri, if you want, uh, while you fix this, I can relay some questions that are coming in from the chat. Is that okay? Yuri, can, can you hear me? Okay, I think Yuri has muted me right now. So, um, so this is the sound, so I'm just like moving now. Can I still hear okay? Yeah, can, can you hear me, Yuri? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was suggesting, what, what do you think this? Do you want me to relay you some questions from the chat? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, shall, shall I like listen uh, to chat first then? Yeah, so th there was a question from Carlos who was asking uh, if the machine have, uh, had a maximum number of recordings. And I, I suppose part of the answer is is in the lifetime of, of the needle, but... Mm -hmm. um, uh, so yeah, um, so so what's the question? Like, is it maximum length or like maximum life of the stylus? Yes. So yeah, maximum life of one stylus probably could hold like around, um, I have to say, um, around like you know ten record, and then you probably have to change it because it's affected the sound quality. I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's uh, there is another question. Um, well, related to that, uh, what would be the approximate average price? We are looking for. Uh, it's not like a final price. We are still working for like you know distribution based in the uh, distribution in the US, um, like on so like Europe at the moment. We are looking around market price around 100 US dollars. Or like amazing. Less. Yeah, we try to make less as possible, but we the kind of looking ballpark figure around 100. But uh, but uh, again, like, this is toy quality, this is a toy, um, but uh, it's really enjoyable toy, I would say. So that's the like, uh, price we are looking for. All right. There is uh, another question from someone with a great name, Jean-Baptiste. Um, uh, curious uh, about this machine, how much will the blank records cost? Yes, so we are looking like around uh, five discs in Japan. Like at the moment. We don't know about the like, US or UK price, but at the moment in Japan, five discs for £3.50. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, it's really cheap at the moment. But when we bring to like uh, um, UK or like US, probably price is going to be slightly different, but we still keep like, uh, I think cheap as possible because the um, reason why we are doing this project is yes, of course, there's a, a really amazing record cutting machine exists in this world, like such as one from Germany. I actually own them. Um, it is really amazing. Like, you know, you can actually make a 12 inch record, seven inch record, quite flexible and also really solid and really you can play as much as you want that sound quality is incredible uh but you know you still cost like like three thousand to like five thousand euro i think like i, I don't know what the price it is days. but uh, this is more of a trial like you get into like making your own record in the you know like just you know people non-professional musician level um that's actually like, you know like me actually i'm not really professional musician anyway so i think that i would be really happy if i got this one like you know like five six years ago before i into like doing like more techie stuff so um so that's the basic thing yeah so this is another question from carlos about the recording uh, quality mm -hmm. um and the question is will it be only in mp3 um, no, any sound source like uh, 
like basically like web file or AI file, MPC doesn't matter. But the most important thing you have to put into the filtering for like RIA curve. That's very really important. And uh, because sound quality coming up is really like low fi sound. But if you equalization pretty well, like high volume and also uh, quite sort of a decent sound you can get. So I, I would say format, it doesn't matter because you have to you know, probably might use like your iPhone, like iPad or like your computer. Um, you know, you have to do equalization yourself. But I recommend to use like uh, DAW tools, like I'm using Ableton Live myself. And if you, anyone doesn't have what the DAW platform, like uh, or the city, you can actually use, you know, AI, you know, like uh, AI or AU, AU or like a VST, you know, plugin you can use. Great. Uh, okay. Did, did you want to go to go back? There's no more question for now. Yeah. If you want to go yeah. back to the demonstration. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, let me try again for like a demonstration. Okay. Like, uh, I'm going to try again. just like record it now so like let me play back so this guy recorded like uh, devos and uncont uncontrollable arch and then uh, if you're cutting record i uh, probably <laughs> i mean i just probably showed them only my face but <laughs> if you record recording you have to put in here and the discord outcut group like when you're recording it actually you can have like this kind of thing maybe i had to demonstrate again but i can play back sound first This is the kind of house quickly coming up, like not amazing recording I managed to do, but if you're carefully doing like a equalization and also right like a volume, like you can actually get quite decent sound. And Wait. shall I do demonstration again? Because I totally forgot to focus in here. So like let me recording again, sorry. Um, so I'm doing again. So the, this is uh, basically volume. Can you see? Okay. So, so this is a kind of cutting head, and also this is the kind of cog that keeps sending over. And you just switch into recording mode in here, and the sound coming from Ableton Live at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just like, put on the surface over here, and uh, immediately making sort of outcut grooves, and then. Uh, if I like play back. Okay. So I'm just like a stopping again and then I'm just leaving it here. Um, then I have to play back. It's kind of noise quite high at the moment. Let me connect with my computer instead. That's probably less noise. Yeah. So. Okay. 
So like this is how things work. Um, so yeah, like this is pretty much everything. We we have some more questions for you, Yuri. Yes. Um. So are these discs safe uh, to uh, to play on one's friend's fancy record deck? Well, <laughs> in safe mean like it might hurt like stylus or the fancy record deck or. Well, like uh, answer is yes. Like you can play any record player, and uh, I don't because style, you know, groove itself is not really deep to compare with like uh, as a you know like a normal record. So I guess like it doesn't really like hurt much for like you know record stylus, and um, I think like you know we designed for like you know playback with uh, uh, as a record player, and uh, probably like some of the better because uh, like this machine itself doesn't have like RIA curve amplifier or phono amplifier at all. So actually you can, um, has got decent player, has got RIA like the uh, um, equalization and the phono amplifier. So sounds probably like better for that. So like we designed for any like record player, but of course, like uh, I don't expect like a really, really expensive, you know, like a, in a high, you know, high quality, like a uh, record sound. Sure. Um, well, I think the question was more about, uh, is it safe? So like, you know, is the engraving that you do with, uh, with the easy record maker uh, mm -hmm. and, and what it does on the disc, is it risking when it's played on, on, on a very good diamond, you know, stylus, is it risking to, to damage it? I think like that was more the angle of the question. Well, again, like, uh, um, um, like, you know, uh, group is not very really deep. So like probably like, not very really, like harmful as a, uh, um, you know, like it doesn't really hurt much, but same time that I would say like do it in your responsibility then. Right. So there is a, a question uh, from Carlos about uh, the spare parts. So mm -hmm. once the first purchase of the machine is made, can I immediately order spare? Parts, needles, and blank discs to engrave. So what? What did you say? Sorry. Uh, you, well, the question from Carlos was about uh, ordering spare parts. So the okay. spare stylus and mm -hmm. discs, uh, the forty-five RPM discs in quantities. Yeah. So it's possible to, to order them. Yeah, yeah. So we definitely to make it happen for the you know, separate, um, you know, order for the spare stylus and also blank discs as well. So we just like working on, um, you know, kind of like a distributor to make sure everything happened. And uh, we also like looking like a uh, uh, Europe distributor as well. We at the moment has got uh, uh, like a US and also like Australia and China. Okay, Asian territory at the moment, but okay, we're still looking at EU distribution partner. Right. There is a question also about the launch date. Um, mm -hmm. So it's launched in Japan, but how about yeah. the other territories? Uh, do you have yeah, a so sense we, of when? Yeah, so we are different to targeting, um, you know, around like September, October time to delivering or like, you know, selling on the shop and so on, that's the timeline we are looking for. And uh, because like, um, like related to Christmas time anyway, but we might have like worst Christmas <laughs> year in our like, life maybe, but uh, we we actually like targeting around that time. And also we already put like, uh, made a website called easyrecordmaker.com. And which is allowed to have you know pre information about how you can order and everything. So just like uh, like you know if you sign up for the uh, like a newsletter and we were accordingly sending over uh, you know like information. Okay, there's another question about EQ, uh, and mm -hmm. you you mentioned that uh, with. With the appropriate EQ, you would have the best sound you can get with the Easy Record Maker. Are there going to be any guidelines to help people EQ their we, tracks? We definitely, yes, like we definitely try to do like how to do like RIA curve things, but it's quite simple anyway. If you put into the, um, you know, any DIW format and put an RIA curve plug in, or like you can manually doing it um, by equalization, but it's much easier if you use using VST or like AU 
like uh, uh, plugins to do invert uh, ROIA curve. So differently, like when we're going to launching it in the US or like Europe, uh, we different. We are looking for uh, has got instruction maybe through like YouTube, like because you know like much more easier to like look on YouTube or like a downloadable PDF about telling about the instruction. Um, so I'm starting using this kind of vacuum, vacuum sounders like uh, uh, you know plugin, and that's actually extremely helpful and they're making really good sound anyway. Um, so yeah, definitely we're gonna do instruction on the YouTube and so on. But uh, I would say like you know each user um, like this is like not like everything kind of provided kind of product. But I can see on the Twitter in Japan that people actually start doing a lot of experiment with this machine to making how better sound you can get. So for example, like someone put like some rubber band around here to like making like less vibration and also. Um, and also like there's so many like experiments and also like this like uh, uh like, you know playback head is not really amazing quality yet so, like, but some people put the weight on top and making that like, much more like, not jumpy or something so so many like, things like you know people altering it and they have to go sharing the idea how to you know make it better sound so it's really nice to see on the twitter at the moment i read it i read in the comments on on, on the chat here that uh, it's been sold out in Japan. So how many units were built in the first round? Um, like, uh, I don't have specific number because I'm not manufacturing it, but uh, we actually produce quite a large, large number in the beginning. As it's quite unusual for this like company to produce that like large amount of number in the beginning, but uh, it's really surprising really, like it's all sold out like after three days. And uh, it's really ridiculous. Some people put in like a price like twice or three times more than original price. That are absolutely not great things happening in Japan's moment. But uh, we try to avoid and the next batch. Uh, in Japan, it's going to be next batch going to be end of like May or like beginning of June. So they're going to have, but uh, we're going to have um, like a US version or like a Europe version like by September and uh, able to open for pre-order around the June time. I think that's what we are looking for. So, uh, like uh, we we try to find like a you know good number of the unit by that time everyone can buy it. I see. So, um, who, who is it made for originally, and, and the people who buy it? Are you surprised by who they are, or is it the audience you expected would be interested Sorry? in it? The, the audience, people who, who, who buy mm -hmm. the Easy Record Maker, are they who you thought they would be? Yeah, I think. Um, Different people have got passion like regarding like you know record. That was the main target we are looking for. And some people like you know, bit of audio and the technical geek people, actually that's a target in the beginning. But uh, something quite interesting things uh like I can see from like online because quarantine period, like everyone like locked down and they're looking for something to fund, you know, company like inside of your house. And then um, People actually kind of coincidentally find like this, you know, like a totally like easy record to make online or something. People really want to try and make it make it happen. And that's actually quite interesting things happening at the moment. So um, so like in the beginning, we expect a certain um, you know, target of the people, like you know, vinyl rubber, the people that like, you know used to record, you know, like listening records, that kind of the uh, people we are looking for but now uh we have a brand new audiences uh people you know interested in this product i think great uh, i see a question uh, about the uh, cuts will be mono so that's so a question so uh, yes yeah mono there you know okay. absolutely yeah so if you do like a stereo it's giving additional you know like incredibly complication like you're gonna make it so yeah so it's gonna be mono and the easy, you know kind of all the time like record format great so, so the process to get this product built was quite unusual to team up with with the magazine um, mm -hmm. so were you just working on your own or did you, did you work with the team H how did that work to get the product specification ready and communicated to the team etc yeah, so basically, like, luckily, um, that magazine has got amazing like uh, prototype engineer 
you know, on site in Japan. And uh, we have been, like, of course, I have the knowledge about how to cut in record, and I suggested how things work. And uh, it's really interesting things that the engineers actually created original, do you know, like Tommy, like a Japanese toy company called Tommy, created a voice recorder in 70s or 80s, quite a legendary toy. And uh, it's called voice recorder, but actually you can make tiny, tiny record. And they, you can see the eBay's of premium price. But he's the person he actually created that toy. So that's really interesting. Then, Many, like long, long time ago, we have what kind of a frustration for like sound not light and so on. But something I realized is they, they try to make us, you know, um, like uh, actuate the movement as like a, a, a vertical. So it's try to recording this way. But uh, if you like try to play back on the any record player, you have to be horizontal, like this way for the vibrating like your stylus. So that was kind of a discovery. And also we actually have really, really amazing um, support from uh, Vestax. Um, so they, they obviously like uh, uh, bankrupted like a couple of years ago, but the president of the company, Mr. Nakama, uh, they gave us a couple of like, suggestions on how to doing it. And also another uh, engineer called uh, Kimura, Masa Kimura from Tasco, and giving us tips as well, because he always helping me for like making my record artworks as well. So it's many people that could put the opinion and try to make it happen. And then of course, like my team is like doing more about the design side as well, kind of graphic aspect or you know, culture side of who I had to talk to for this project. So um, that was a truly collaborative process. That's great, thank you. Uh, we have a couple of more questions. Um, you mentioned people improving on the design. Will the plans be open source? Uh, what do you mean, plan? Uh, well, the plans, as in. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, to be honest, I, I, I don't have any like restriction for like you know holding like you know IP or like you know anything. It's more about open to everyone that like, can make it better and put in the website how things work. That's best way. So, um, I definitely like open to open source. But I don't know like what to share <laughs> to able to open source because problem is uh, this like record cutting machine made really really old school technique and uh, that company doesn't have any CAD files surprisingly there's no CAD file in the company it's more, everything that kind of handmade and make molding apparently so we don't have like any specification data but this is really easy to copy anyway like such a simple like structure behind so anyone has a suggestion to changing it and then sharing with you know 3D printed file or like any software absolutely open um, and also, you know, like this product is first of all, like uh, as a not high five product, but it's fun to play with it. But if you do like right equalization, light kind of heaviness and everything, you can get very uh, decent sound as well. So it's more about kind of grow, growing up user, I think. So uh, I really like a different open to in the public for the, um, you know, like open source like project. But I don't know what to like start like in the share as open source actually because we don't have cat file or anything at the moment but uh, it's i think it's easy to um you know making like a um, you know like 3d file i guess right right and in terms of uh, design improvements what is it that you have in mind what have you observed so far that you want to improve well i think different like helps as the uh, um for me it's not much problem um in terms of the cutting, because I know like how to do like volume control, like RIA curve and everything, invert RIA. That's actually like uh, solving most of the problem. But some people like doesn't have like a DAW, like don't know about the audio editing. It's probably it's nice to have like iPhone application about it. it's automatically equalizing it, kind of little slightly pitch down and adjusting the volume. That's totally achievable. So that's um, my dream to do. But uh, it's different like I need like a development cost and stuff. So I don't know how to generate that amount of money, but I really, really like wish and uh, creating sort of like a easy record maker sound studio or something here. Like even you can record your voice as well and straight into the things. And also like if you have what like, you know, Apple Music or iTunes or something in here, like you can have a good equalization and write like a amount of volume to recording to that. That actually opened up so many 
people for like much easier to cut record i think and uh, one thing you didn't mention but uh, that i read on on the website it comes as a kit right so and yeah. you have lot, all of the, so how many pieces do you have to assemble and how, how long does it take to 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 build it from scratch so it took me 40 minutes to building this one and i would say not very really difficult so this is kind of whole component can you see that ah sorry yep so, yeah so this is all parts like so you just like need tiny like the uh, one like plus driver and you can pretty much do the everything and uh, it's not difficult and i'm really crazy person but i can build it by yours myself um so like taking around 40 minutes but we are looking for um kind of half built version um that's also like we are looking for uh, the distribution as well because some people is not really like capable to building it um and so some people not, not enjoying building that kind of process so like we are looking um half built version as well so right. like, let's see, like we, we have got so much interesting planning happening at the moment for like a us or like a europe lounge at the moment and we design new packaging and also you know additional things and also like one interesting tips like uh, i can see on the twitter so many people has got to like run out like a uh, blank disc and start cutting on a blank cds or dvds and it works as well so that's incredible too so we might include some like attachment for you know like dvd or cd and turn into like your cd into the record as well so there, there's kind of many many like idea um we're gonna on top of the you know and like the next launch yeah, I can see a few comments on, on our chat about this, but I, I don't understand the, the physics of it. How does that work? Can, how can you engrave a CD or a DVD? Yeah, your... so, yeah. So basically like, what's happening here, this is just plastic disc, isn't it? And the engraving, it's just like scratching on top of the like, discs. That's how things work. So basically like this is stylus and scratching it, making like groups. So what do you need is really like a plastic, plastic disc to engrave with it. So like CD could work. And also if you have got any acetate, like, you know, how does it call like uh, um, transparent paper? Like uh, what's the like name? Vinyl? Like vi vinyl no, sheets? Yeah, vinyl sheet, or like you can get from stationary shop, a color kind of acetate, like kind of a sheet, like using for like, you know, period or something. And that also works as well. So. Um, but uh, try to find out the best kind of thickness or the kind of you know, softness of the plastic, you probably have to look. But uh, my friend uh, like, uh, Sean from Raraton, like a band called Raraton in Japan, they managed to, you know, recording on you know, like blank CD or blank DVD discs because it's, actually it does work because it's the same layer of the kind of plastic and you can use it to like, record on top of that. So you can use that record. Right. And do you think there is a, uh, it could be interest for an easy record maker pro, like a version that could do, um, you know, high yeah. quality recordings? Yeah. yeah, it could be interesting. But at the same time, like uh, end of the year, like another company, uh, I forgot the name of the company, but they're making a large thousand pound range in record cutting machine, like one company tried producing it. And that actually a good stereo recording as well, probably like a nice sound you can get. So, but for me, the positioning for this product is more about, uh, uh, it's kind of quite cheap price, but you can experiment at decent quality and as a toy quality, but you could like a little bit bring more, it's like you can make your, your creation. So if it's bring up price, I'm willing not to do pro version because, uh, you know, if you want to go pro, like you probably have to get you know, much nicer version, but this is like looking for people actually start to interested in like record making process. And, you know, sending over like, a, even like, a, this really came from like my experience when I was a high school student, because I was in the punk band. And um, so that time, like I was in a punk, like ska punk music band, we always want to make, you know, our own, you know, CD or like a kind of cassette tape to, you know, selling on the you know, live, live house or something. We really want to produce like seven inch record, but seven inch record ordering is so expensive, like a minimum of like thousand you have to order and the cost like uh, 
you know, like thousand pound or something. That's so expensive. But if, what if if I've got teenager and me, um, you know, in high school, I'm gonna be so excited because you can make a best book your own like record record and you can probably selling it as well. So that's kind of things more about kind of creation too, so rather than like a super, super professional hi-fi gear I'm looking for. So I'm something ex expecting people experimenting more and also they are making their own, you know, music label based on this one can be quite interesting as well. So I think it's, you know, more initial work that drive me to make this product is more about, you know, how, how I'm going to be excited when I was a teenager, me, how I'm going to be excited about this product, I think. Okay. Uh, a few more questions coming fr from the chat. Um, will the magazine be translated for the international edition? Yes. So we, 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 we are trying to do. And uh, so we are really staged to like, how like, we can make cost downs possible. Um, but we want to include at least Jeff Mills interview and also uh, Damian from OK Go interview and Mark and Mazas Bar and Cornelius. Uh, at least we want to have this interview inside because it's really nice to read about this with so much content as well and their passion, how they started the music career. It's such a nice piece of the, you know, uh, interview like they gave me. So uh, definitely we, we want to put like that part of the like a magazine. Okay. Uh, another question from uh, Jean Baptiste: um, Is it possible to have the CD work both uh, as a CD format and lath cut format? Um, it's actually quite an interesting experiment that I did when I was a student. So, okay, you might like knew about it, but CD is actually leading from like center to outside. And the record actually like leading from outside to center. So <laughs> if you have like a recording in the center, like a quite short song or something CD, and also you have a short songs in record from outside, you can actually play on both sides. Actually, I tried when I was a student. It works actually. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, and another comment from, from Jean Baptiste saying, yeah. uh, have you heard of people trying it on X-ray sheets? They used to make contraband records in the USSR yes. with that in the 80s. You've heard of that? Yeah, yeah. that's actually in uh, uh, Russia, isn't it? Like in the Russia time, like uh, then forbidden to listening to rock and roll music from like coming from US or something. They kind of secretly like, engraved on top of the X-ray, you know, printing and they secretly imported in like uh, Russia. So that's such, such an interesting project. And uh, I think I saw the exhibition in the host Horse Hospital in a while ago in London has got the exhibition about that like X-ray disc. So it's really beautiful. Great. So um, I, th I think we just had enough questions there. But uh, what, what's next for you? What's next for for the Easy Record Maker? Um, yeah. When so can fast, we expect yeah. to hear from you? Yeah. So um, we are working hundred percent hard for like a distribution in the uh, in outside of Japan. And that's because of the Gaken, this company never done uh, exporting products outside of Japan. So it has been quite a, quite a difficult in there, but we are partnership with amazing partnership wines kind of Oscar from like uh, Los Angeles. Uh, he has been working with me quite a long time. And also uh, and Kevin, uh, he's like running uh, a company called MakerNet. And uh, we have been working, make it works and the best price as possible. Because you know, beauty of this project is really, really uh, affordable, low budget, and you can have so much fun from there. So that's something we are working hundred percent working for. Try to reducing cost and as much as possible to like uh, exporting outside of Japan. So what this is about um, like an uh, uh, easy record maker next step. And also, I'm working for another product as well, currently in China. And hopefully, like we can launch like uh, within this year, and uh, hopefully we can to kick start the campaigns where like, we are looking for now, and uh, that's a quite exciting product and a fun toy and a musical toy I'm working on. Uh, hopefully, I can announce soon, and uh, hopefully we can have a live streaming again, and uh, we're gonna have brand new uh, you know sound art installation in London uh, in September. That's a really large scale installation. That's quite interesting. So I hope I announced quite soon as well. So it's really, really 
uh, interesting project lining up as well. And I'm truly excited even this uh, depression time. Well, this is great to hear. Well, don't hesitate to let us know and we'll, we'll you know, relay on our social media all the activities that you have. And uh, very curious now about the products that you're making in China. So mm. looking forward to hearing more about this. Yeah. Um, well, th thank you so much for your time. Uh, this thank is you. this is all uh, for, for the question we had. Uh, so the Easy Record Maker will probably be available in September, October in various territories. Uh, and uh, um, so I invite everyone to, to, to come again and, and watch this space to um, no one to order. Uh, thank you, everyone who followed us on uh, and asked questions and made, made this uh, more yeah. lively. Uh, and, yeah, and uh, um, if you if you have inquiry, like just uh, contact easy record maker uh, dot com. Uh, easy mean like not easy, like e and z and record maker dot com. And uh, my partner Oscar is uh, uh, dealing with like our question at the moment, so don't hesitate contacting us. Um, yeah, so yeah, we we try to deliver as much as possible with quite nice affordable price. That's uh, I'm looking for. Great. Thank you very much, Yuri. So, thank you uh, next, uh, thank you. Next Thursday, we have um, uh, Robert Ramirez from the Cycling Seventy Four team, who leads the development of Jitter. So, going into a very different environment, um, all software and all video interactive, with uh, with Rob on Thursday at the same time. So, um, I'll see you next Thursday. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye, Yuri. Thank you.